speech is um, a bird lost in time <coughs> they were amongst the biggest birds that ever lived and for millions of years they browsed the scrubland forest and herd fields of prehistoric New Zealand then in a matter of centuries they were wiped out almost instantly only their bones remain to tell the story of this country's most prodigious bird the moor. The moor were flightless birds that evolved from the birds that could fly. <coughs> the moor ate berries, shoots and lots of leaves. The moor ate those foods because they were close to the ground. But that became a threat to the moor because, because the moor was being hunted by a predator so huge that it took the moor clean off its feet and flew around. 30 feet in the sky, carrying a 100 pound bird, the Haast Eagle. The Haast Eagle's wingspan can reach up to 8 metres wide and 3 metres in length. Anyway, the moor were herbivores. That's why there were more in Puramaho because they ate a lot of vegetation and Puramaho was very popular to Māori too because one of the Māori's favourite food was moor and a lot of moor lived on the island over Herbertville. Moor were 10 to 12 feet tall and one half metre wide. The moor had very long legs, about a metre for each leg. The moor sort of looks like a big emu and The moor's egg is the size of a netball. One day I was watching TV and I saw this documentary about the moor. I was so interested that I decided to put and use all of that information in my speech. The Māori used the moor's feathers for the most beautiful coral one. They used the moor's long, sharp claws as the Māori's weapon, such as a spear. If you ever go to Te Papa, have a look around for the largest bird that ever walked the land of New Zealand. <coughs> I would like to thank the judges, staff, parents and students for listening to my speech. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou.